simple and easy, healthy air fry recipes coming your way. My name is Kathy, and on this channel, I help people actually use their air fryer. Now, my kids and I just finished testing out five different recipes in the air fryer, and just to be straight up honest with you from the get-go, there were two that were the bomb diggity, two that were pretty great, and then one that was just like, eh? So keep watching to see what we thought of these and to get a little healthy air fryer recipe inspiration. You ready to see these? Let's go. Did you know you could make a salad in the air fryer? Check this out. Okay, you're gonna want some zucchini, about two cups of some cherry tomatoes there, and two cups of corn kernels. I just, just am using some frozen corn. Now you're gonna want about two cups of chopped zucchini, and you just wanna cut them into like half inch cute little moons. Now, of course, this shows about two cups of zucchini, but you can never really have enough zucchini. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. There we go. I preheated this air fryer. I'm gonna just add a little bit of oil here to the bottom. Throw in my zucchini. Spread that out. And then my tomatoes. I love to cook tomatoes. Close that up, then go 400 for six minutes. We're gonna hit the shake button. While that's cooking, I'm gonna just quickly make a little dressing. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, which is about 30 grams. A tablespoon of lemon juice, or 15 grams. Just a half teaspoon of honey for a little sweetness which is about four grams. Two to three tablespoons of olive oil. That's gonna be about 30 grams of olive oil. And just give that a little whisk. There, we're at the three minute mark. Now, I'm going to throw some corn on top. And here's the salt and pepper I forgot to add. And we'll give this three more minutes. Okay, it's done. It smells fresh and delicious. Now it's just time for a fork test to see if that zucchini is done enough for you. I might just give it two more minutes. I'll just stir this around a little bit. I'm gonna go 400 for two more minutes. Okay, I'm hearing my tomatoes popping, so I'm gonna just pull it out now. Just drop your veggies in a bowl. And at this point, you can let it chill in your refrigerator, or you can enjoy it nice and hot over a salad. This is still a little bit warm, but that's okay, because I actually like cooked spinach too. Then just drizzle on a little dressing. You could do any dressing that you love. And if you have some feta cheese, you can throw that on. Okay, here's a beautiful salad. Mm. Mm. That is mm. so glorious. It's fresh. It's bursting, lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. And who knew you could make a salad in an air fryer, right? Mm-hmm. So for me, out of five stars, definitely a fiver. Yes. Zucchini is one of my favorites. We're gonna make some zucchini pizza bites. You'll start with some yummy zucchini, some little salt and garlic powder, pizza sauce and cheese and whatever type of pizza toppings you want. Now it's gonna vary depending on the size of your zucchini, how many you can make here, but you're gonna want them to be about a half inch thick, which is your finger width. And it looks like I can fit six in mine. I'm just using some avocado oil, lightly spray that, sprinkle it with a little salt, and of course, a little garlic powder. Never does anybody any harm. Pop it in the air fryer and we'll cook it at 320 for eight minutes. All right, zucchini is done. You can test it with a fork just to see how tender it is, but this is like perfect for me. Cheese gets messy, so I'm actually gonna throw my parchment paper down, put these little guys back, and spoon on some spaghetti sauce. I just do not enjoy cleaning up cheese in the air fryer. I had some little mini pepperonis that I'm gonna use today, and then throw on some cheese. And it can be a little more messy because it got that parchment paper. Do as little or as much cheese as you want. And now we're gonna crank it up to 400 and just run it for three minutes. Okay, let's take a look. Oh yeah, time to taste test. And thank you, parchment paper, for making my life easier. Pizza, zucchini bites, Haley's here to help me. Mm. I'm a fan. This is a great little healthy snack or lunch or after school snack. What do you say? How many stars for this one out of five? Like four. Four? I would agree. Four stars. Four stars. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Up next, 
some cocoa chickpeas. Just need two cans of garbanzo or chickpeas. Guess what, they're the same thing. Some cocoa powder and your favorite zero calorie sweetener. Drain and rinse your chickpeas. Lay them out to dry in a nice even layer. Pat them dry. Oh, this is such a satisfying filling. Pour them in a large bowl. Then you can sift in some cocoa, about a quarter to one third cup, and then two tablespoons of your sweetener and stir it up. These look like cocoa puffs. What? Lightly spray your air fryer, drop in the chickpeas, spread them around so they're nice and even. Give it another light spray, pop it in the air fryer, and we're going 10 minutes 400 with the shake reminder. Time to check on it. Oh, mama mia. Give it a quick little stir, make sure it's back to kind of an even layer. Pop it back in the air fryer. Chickpeas are done. Gotta let these cool completely. Then we'll give it a taste test. These look like cocoa puffs. They do. They don't taste like cocoa puffs. <laughs> no. Do you taste anything? No. No. You can like kind of taste the cocoa at the end, but like... Yeah. What is it supposed to taste like? Kind of a sweet chocolatey. Anyway, they're healthy. I'm not sure if I'd make these again. I mean, they were easy. The health benefit is great. Maybe like a two. You know, I was kind of thinking a one. Ah. <laughs> So let me know if I've got this one all wrong. What do you get when you put turkey kielbasa and some veggies together in the air fryer? You get a little magic. For this kielbasa veggie, your base is gonna be some turkey kielbasa, asparagus, tomatoes, a pepper, and then we'll do a little oil, sea salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, garlic, and some black pepper. Go ahead and slice up your sausage. Cut it at a diagonal if you wanna be extra fancy looking. Just need half inch slices. Drop that in a bowl. And on the asparagus, break off the little hard ends. And then you really could just break these into about two inch pieces. Add the asparagus. Here's your cherry tomatoes halved. Then chop up a bell pepper and drop in the peppers. Add in a half tablespoon of avocado oil. Stir that up. Add in a half teaspoon of sea salt, a teaspoon of paprika, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Stir it all up, pop it in the air fryer. And if you don't like cooked tomatoes, you can just save those for like the last minute or two of cooking. And on my older model of the Kasori, if I want to turn on the shake feature, I just press one of these and I'm gonna bump it up to 380 and run it for 12 minutes. There's that wonderful shake reminder. Give it a good little stir and pop it back in the air fryer. Ta-da! And it is done. Livy and I are gonna taste test this kielbasa veggie dinner with a missing tooth. Here we go. Mm, I can't bite it. Mm. My mouth is dirty. You liked it? Even with missing a tooth, you liked it. How many stars do you give it out of five? If five's Four. best. Four? I think. It's good, but... It is a little spicy. It's We're not super spicy heads. And I think it's top. it's probably just the sausage that we bought. So otherwise, I'm giving it a five because it's so easy to make. I give it a four because it's spicy. Mm. If you've made it this far, you're in for a treat because this one's the best recipe. Okay, this is everything you need for this recipe. Now, it might look like a ton of ingredients, but I promise it just goes together so quickly. Start with two sweet potatoes that you've washed and dried, and you're gonna just stab these. I do have one little problem here. I've got one sweet potato that's a lot bigger than the other, so that just means I'm gonna need to kind of keep an eye on things. This guy here, he's gonna be done cooking before this larger one. Then you just wanna massage some oil into your potato. What it does is it just really helps make your potato so moist inside you won't believe it. Place these right in your air fryer basket. And then I just like to sprinkle on a little bit of salt. I love using this Redmond Real Salt, so good. Then pop this in the air fryer, and we're gonna start with 380 for 20 minutes. And while that's cooking, go ahead and cut up a half pound of chicken. That's usually about one chicken breast. Then you'll add in a half of a pepper that you chop up into bite-sized pieces. Then just a half cup of red onion, a half cup of frozen corn, a half cup of rinsed and drained black beans, and then just a half tablespoon of any oil that you want. I prefer the Chosen Foods avocado oil. And then here are your seasonings. It's just a half teaspoon of each. Cumin, brown sugar, paprika, chili powder, and a dash of black pepper there. And then just mix all of that up. All right, sweet potatoes are cooking beautifully. I'm gonna just flip those around. Ouch, hot. And now I'm gonna pour in my chicken and vegetable mixture. Spread this out around the potatoes. Pop it back in the air fryer. 
Now I'm gonna go up to 380, hit my shake reminder so I can check on in about seven minutes and we will see how that works. All right, time to give this a peek. Just give that chicken and those veggies a little stir. Okay, I'm gonna just check this one potato. That one's probably almost done. Big one is not done. And I just wanna peek at the chicken temperature. The chicken is done. So I'm gonna just pull these potatoes out and put my veggies and my chicken in this bowl. Now I'm just gonna let these potatoes finish up and I can just cover this with foil to keep it nice and warm. Okay, and while that finishes up cooking, I just chopped up some avocado here, some cherry tomatoes, and then I'm making this really yummy dressing. I've just got some of my homemade barbecue sauce and you can mix it up with sour cream or Greek yogurt and it becomes like this yummy barbecue dressing. And then if you have cilantro, you could chop some of that up. These are the toppings for this amazing dinner. Oh, guess what? Haley found some cilantro in the fridge and she's using the herb scissors to cut that up. Yay, Haley! Cut open that sweet potato. I like to mush up my sweet potato a little bit. Then place on some of the chicken and veggies. There is a lot here. Add in some tomatoes. Here's a little cilantro. Drop on a little avocado. And for the ultimate presentation, my friend Kristen from Six Sister Stuff taught me about putting like sour cream and different, whoops, <laughs> different thicker dressings in a plastic bag with a little hole and just squirt it over the top. It looks so pretty. Okay, <laughs> we are loaded up the best we can. This looks amazing. Are you ready? Psycho. Mm. 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 Oh. Yes. 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 <laughs> Can I even do 10 out of five stars? This is so good. Like so much flavor in this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? I do not like sweet potatoes, but this is very good. Mm -hmm. So now you like sweet potatoes. Yes. Yes. Hello. Please. Look at that. So good. It's a winner. Enjoy this one. Hey, I hope you feel inspired to use your air fryer in a little different way. If you're looking for more healthy options, I got a list right here for you. I think you're gonna like this one as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.